This literally shocked me. It's about to shock you too. Stay tuned if you are trying to lose some weight and level up your health and level up your weight for 2023. I have something juicy and really good that's going to change your life. Hey fools, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Keisha and I am your favorite weight loss coach here on the internet all the way around. I've lost a ton of weight and had hundreds of thousands of people watch me. I've fallen, have gotten back up, been on different diet plans, searched around, did so much research until I finally found something that really worked for me. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have some friends along the way of your weight loss journey with you. You guys, I'm so excited for today's video to be honest I get asked this question so many times and that's Keisha what's the best diet for weight loss because you guys know I've been on a roller coaster of a whole bunch and I'm finally here to answer those questions to put things to rest to talk to you guys about what is the best diet for weight loss let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that first I'm going to get into plans and then I'm going to get into diets per se right one of the first plans and this is a plan that you guys have been asking me about for the longest is my plan I customize plans for, for people you guys know I have a lot of people under my belt who have adopted my plans and lost weight and all of that stuff so if you're interested you can just go ahead and hit me up via email Keisha Rose at Keisha Rose.com I create a customized meal plan for you that's plant-based that's going to really help you to level up your health and change your life when it comes down to your health I do charge a fee for that but next plan that I want to go into I know will help I remember earlier on I adopted a plan from them they created and customized me a meal plan and I literally lost 15 pounds without even thinking about it without even thinking about my meals what I was going to make or anything like that everything is there for you and if you guys aren't familiar with who I'm talking about I'm talking about beyond body if you guys are familiar with beyond body let me break it down and explain to you really quick and shout out to them for sponsoring today's video put my customized book right here on the screen for you guys so you guys can see beyond body will do will customize you a diet a weight loss plan based on your lifestyle your allergies your health health conditions, your food preferences, your progress level. It's created by a professional nutritionist and scientist. Their plans will safely help you lose weight and become a healthier you, not only physically, but mentally as well. You can get your personalized book that's cool and super cute like mine that's here on the screen. Not only the book, but you can also upgrade and then you can get your assistant app along with it to make it so much easier for you guys to lose weight. You can take it on your phone with you at all times. This will help you achieve your weight loss goes a lot quicker as well I think it's so cool you just go on their website take their quiz I'll put it here on the screen for you guys to see it answer those questions and they give you your own customized book that is so super cute and click the link in my description box you can get 60% off site wide and an extra 10% off with my code Keisha 10 and you can only get this deal if you click the link in my description box below so if you are looking to lose weight and want something where you don't have to think go ahead and click that link in my description box below next let's talk about my success on the good old cabbage soup cleanse this is not a long-term diet or something that I think you should be on long term if you want to lose weight I think it's super cool if it's something that you want to hop on and hop off or just have some of the soup however you do it I just don't recommend you doing it long term because all that's happening is you're losing a bunch of the water weight and even though I'm a fan of losing your water weight I'm a fan now of losing your water weight along with your regular weight so you don't have to worry about anything coming back right so if you want to lose some water weight go ahead and adopt that but the thing is it's so unsustainable unless you tweak it and I've done so many different diet plans and so many different things to where I can tweak a lot of different things and just make it my own now and just do it just in general but that's not what I want to do right I want to stick to what I've been doing what's really working for me it's helping me and I think when it come down to any type of diet I think it should be your lifestyle I think it should be something that you're not hopping on and hopping off because it's just going to cause you to lose and gain lose and gain and you guys have seen me go through that and it's such a pain and a butt it's so irritating and it's just once you get something that's really working for you I just recommend just sticking to it but the cabbage soup cleanse will help you drop some weight really 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 fast but just understand that that's a whole bunch of water weight and um, eventually if you stay on it it will turn into weight but then what will happen in turn is you're losing nutrients and you can literally starve yourself it'll take a while to starve yourself if you are inexperienced and don't know what you're doing I recommend 
steering away from it. But like I said, if it's something that you wanna do, go ahead and do it. I'm not stopping you. Who am I to tell you what to do? The good old keto diet. And we, and we all know if you have been on my channel before, I've done vegan keto. And one thing I can say about the keto diet is if you, if you adopt it, you are going to lose weight. But in turn, you are essentially um, offing yourself slowly when it comes down to eating all of those fats and all of those different things. I've done a video just recently talking about fats. You might want to check that out. But eating all of that fat, sludging up your blood, clogging up your it's just a lot that you are doing to your body. And then ultimately what you are doing to your body as well is you're putting it in a state of ketosis for a period of, for a long period of time. And what's going to happen, I'm not sure if you guys have done your work when it comes down to health and stuff, but ketosis mean a state of sickness. I can see if the, if you're, you know, have some ketones released when you're intermittent fasting and it's really quick and then boom, you eat whatever, that's, that's one thing. But with keto, you're putting yourself in ketosis for a long period of time and in turn that's going to start putting a burden on a lot of your organs when it comes down to it why do you think nobody can stick to keto long term it's not because oh they just don't want to because people are successful at losing weight but it's just you start feeling sick you get greasy your breath starts stinking you get greasy hair all of that stuff is just backing up in your body i don't care what anyone tell you i don't even care what i'm telling you here right now do your own research on keto. And when I say your research, not any bias research, not any research that has been paid for by the meat and dairy industry, do research that is in the middle split and you will get your answer. If you go down a rabbit hole long enough, you will get your answer. I'm telling you guys, when it come down to that, do your research just because you see people sitting here thin and successful on keto does not mean that it's healthy look at what i was doing here on my channel not every single thing that you do and lose weight successfully is healthy when it come down to it i wasn't doing anything crazy that was going to make you like you know hurt yourself but what i was doing is that losing gain and losing gain and that's just not healthy for your mental state it was draining it was getting mentally draining to me but the thing about keto is that that's going to harm you physically if it's something that you stay on long term but i've done it and I've lost weight from it. Um, I, I was successful doing it, but it's not something that I would go back to doing, especially now knowing the things that I know about just weight loss and health in general. And then let's talk about the good old vegan diet. Um, the vegan diet is something that's becoming a big movement now in the world here on the internet and just everywhere. If you go to your local grocery stores, you'll see a vegan snacks, a bunch of vegan just stuff in general. So um, people is getting on the train when it come down to veganism and a lot of you guys know that I am vegan um but let's talk about this because there's there's <laughs> some vegans that are unhealthy and what I mean by that is if you look at a lot of these raw vegans and um if you don't know what you're doing when it comes down to veganism, you can run into a lot of trouble. You can um get yourself sick just as well as you can on any diet because at the end of the day are a lot of the sicknesses that's that's going around is the things that you put in your mouth. It start with that fork and that spoon that you're picking up and putting the food in your mouth. So let's talk about this because like I said, there are some vegans that is sick, just frail. I wanna be careful how I preference that because being super duper thin does not mean that you're unhealthy. It's just sometimes you can look at someone and tell that they are malnourished and sick. So with that being said, you guys know I've done the raw vegan diet and unless you know what you're doing, you have to eat and you have to eat a lot when you are a raw vegan. And a lot of those different things will irritate your stomach because it's raw. I don't care what anyone tell you, a lot of those things will irritate your stomach and cause you even further issues. So you wanna be careful with that. Ultimately, when I did raw veganism, I was really, really healthy. I felt really, really good. My body didn't feel like it took any time just to digest something. But the thing is, it did cause me a lot of burping, a lot of just um, stomach bloat and different things like that. But as far as weight, I had no problem with weight when I was doing raw veganism at all. I felt really good. But I'm gonna talk about the junk food vegan. Vegans who eat the stuff that they sell at the grocery stores, as far as the Impossible Burgers, the Beyond Meat Burgers, the sausages, the hot dogs, the vegan cheeses, all of that. You are no different 
almost than someone who is eating meat and stuff. You are sludging your blood up. You are still doing the same thing, causing yourself high blood pressure, eating all of that condensed protein processed food. You are doing harm to your body as well. So if you're doing that, I recommend you stop. Ultimately, the best that I feel diet overall vegan vegan diet is starch based diet the starch solution written by dr john mcdougall and i tell you guys this all the time this is the best vegan diet that you can ever run across this will help save your life reverse different ailments as you guys hear me talk about this like i said all the time this diet will help you to just be a better you i'm talking about inside out everything you can think of pretty much heal you from that stuff if it was any one diet that i would recommend and recommend that you stick to when it come down to veganism is the starch based diet starch solution starch solution diet for the win that's number one at the top of my list as far as vegan diets all in general just period and you guys know i don't recommend eating any meats or cheeses or anything like that so essentially that's just my overall recommendation when it come down to losing weight you don't have to worry about your calories so much you don't have to worry about any of that stuff as long as you're sticking to it verbatim and letting it become a part of you it's foods that we love comfort foods potatoes rice beans corn salsa burritos all of that stuff it's all of that and you don't have to even think about it at all i absolutely love it i have my family on it now and it's something that i'm going to be sticking to i really recommend it for those of you who want to lose weight off that rat race of just dieting all together and find something that you want to stick to I really just recommend it you guys I truly do really recommend beyond body click the link in my description box below thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video thanks for watching